All right, so James Charles is back, and uh, I'm annoyed. It's annoying to me. I'm going to explain to you why, okay? James Charles is a, uh, a rather large... We already know James Charles is. He's got 35, almost 36 million followers. It seems to be going up. And uh, there was just a big scandal. scandal. Uh, there's a big scandal where he was inappropriately talking to people of an inappropriate age. Obviously, it can't be too explicit, you know. YouTube works. I just cursed though. So anyway, what bothers me the most about this is that I was banned on TikTok for jokes, and uh, he's not banned on TikTok for trying to fuck kids. Might as well throw out the sensory. Who cares anymore? It's just like annoying. I just find it so frustrating, you know? Like, I find it very frustrating. It's not even like it happened one time and he, like, learned from his mistake. He kept doing it over and over and over and over again. He did, like, three times. And, like, nobody takes his stance, right? YouTube's biggest stance, or not even, like, yeah, their, their stance was like, we went another direction with James Charles. Oh, we just had to go into another direction, guys. Really? That's what you fucking decided? You decided that he wasn't palatable enough because he had he was talking to kids, and then you were like, yeah, we're not going to do YouTube Red or whatever nonsense he was doing. And then Morphe's like, yeah, guys, so we're just going to do something different. Morphe is a gay guy to me, apparently. My point is, <laughs> so speaking, my point is it's very annoying, it's very frustrating that you like the where the line is drawn is like what offends people. Not like what is truly offensive, right? Like trying to sleep with kids is a truly terrible thing. A joke, not so bad. And what's really crazy is that, like, I was banned. I had, like, I never, I never got any content violations. They changed their, their, their shit. They changed their, their community guidelines. Boom. 30 when one shot that day of old videos. Like, I was working within the guidelines. And I get screwed. But, like, what's going on here? Oh, we have James Charles expressing his opinion on social media. Oh, hey, that's so cool. Hey, James Charles, I'm happy that you have an outlet to talk. Fucking why, bro? So annoying. It just pisses me off. I'm just, I'm fucking angry about it. And I think I have a right to be angry about it. But this is this video that he posted before he was banned. And here's some new videos. Let's see what we got here. Put a finger down. Hey you guys, so I've really been wanting to film a YouTube video where I try to basically bake my own crumble cookies. But I figured if I'm going to try to... Hey, why don't you make a YouTube video where you try to bake not fucking kids? That's a great one. I like that video idea. Them, I might as well try the real things first. So welcome to my first ever crumble cookies TikTok review. Okay, our first cookie is Snickerdoodle Cupcake. Mm. That is really good. Snickerdoodle is such an underrated flavor to me. I stand a Snickerdoodle Cupcake, and I really thought the cream cheese frosting was going to be weird, but it slaps. I would say a solid 9 out of 10. Okay, so our next flavor is Lemon Glaze, and it's literally falling apart as I'm trying to pick it up, so I'm just going to bite it. Okay, so the flavor is good, but lemon isn't really my personal favorite overall, and the texture is really dry, so I'm going to give this one like a solid 6. Okay, next we have some Sweet Chocolate Chip. Okay, it was really good. It's just a classic delicious chocolate chip cookie, but since I already have chocolate chip cookies every week, this flavor felt like a cop out to me. And last but not least, we have brownie. You fucking ordered it. What is Sunday? Oh, that's the best thing I've ever put in my mouth. 10 out of 10. And make sure you check out the YouTube video where I make them myself. Oh, is that the best thing you ever put in your mouth, James? Wow, I'm really surprised. Well. <sighs> Uh, obviously the joke, the joke is, it doesn't even need to be made at this point. Okay, that's just some fucking mirror, mirror video sitting on the wall. And then he's gonna transition into something even more annoying, I'm assuming. Or he's just gonna, yep, I was right. I don't know, how was I, whoa, wow, who could have guessed it? Okay, it looks like there's an incapacitated person there. Let's see what we got here. Another song. It's just a new intro for his... Um... Great. Fantastic. Uh, what do we got here? Another sound? Yep, another sound. I'm assuming another transition where he looks like shit. Wow, it's great. Very practical. Uh, you could really go on a subway with those and not get them locked in the subway doors. Fantastic. This is really great. What do we got here? You have a cupcake. I love... <laughs> The jokes write themselves. I like you. Have a cupcake. Wow. You want to have a cupcake? Is that what you were there for? I just I'm there for a cupcake. You know who else would like to have a cupcake, James Strauss? EDP 445. You guys might actually have a lot in common. Because I hate both of you. You're both shitty people. I like you. Have a cupcake. Yep. 
I got another one. I like you have a cupcake. Hey, here you go. I like, hey, I like, uh, I like you have a cupcake. Alright. Alright, we get it. We get it here, guys. And last, last but not least, we got a uh, nice video of James Charles trying to dodge the allegations of him trying to groom kids. Here we go. Oh, he got away with that one. Oh, that one too. Oh, he got away with it. Uh, look, he's getting away with all these allegations, guys. So, uh, oh, he didn't get away with that one. Hey, very telling. Oh, look at that. I didn't get away with that one either. Oh, my goodness. Haha, <laughs> so funny because here he is. He's back and nobody really cared. I am very annoyed by this. I'm just very frustrated. This whole thing just bothers me. I'm annoyed. It just pisses me off. The fucking audacity. You know, like, not only is this guy, like, you know, not only does this guy not seem to understand what age of consent means, you know, uh, he's gotten multiple, like, passes on it. But he also has no pride as a, as a human being. You know what I mean? Like, if you make a big mistake, just leave forever. You know, that's like a normal human pride. This guy doesn't even have pride. This guy's a loser and a predator. <laughs> uh, L.A. privilege. Apparently, talking to underage people isn't such a big deal. But, uh, like, it's crazy. I don't even know how he, he has, like, the mental capacity to make fun TikToks. It actually makes me cringe. Because, like, if I did something so profoundly wrong, I wouldn't be able to come back and be like, time for fun. You know what I mean? But James Charles is like, I'm back. I'm ready. He was ready before anything even, before it even started. He was ready. He doesn't care. I don't think he thinks anything that he did was wrong. He's just going to get better at it. Uh, I just, uh, it just bothers me. I'm, fr I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated because like, I, I feel like, a, you know, if you're going to ban me, that's fine. Also this, though, please, for the love of fucking God, ban this guy. De remove his verification, at the very least. 